But you know, Cleveland is bursting with entrepreneurs putting their creativity into successful businesses. And now a new documentary called Artisans of the Land is shining a light on some of these movers and shakers. And this morning, we're very happy to have Andrew Spurk. He's the managing director at Clockwork 9, an agency producing the series. And uh, once again, thank you very much for stopping by, man. Tell us what this thing is all about. And first of all, how did you think about it? Well, thank you for having me, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the attention on this, because this is something that We've been working on for a couple years now. COVID kind of set us back a okay. little bit, but the whole sort of background for this is we noticed a lot of people in Cleveland work very hard for not a lot of money, or they're working very hard to make their businesses thrive. Okay. But a lot of them are uh, artisans, what we call artisans. Okay, so that, what do you mean by that? So that's somebody that has a particular skill set that okay. they're very good at. So for me, I was sitting in a barber chair at Black Hat Barbershop, okay. and I was sitting there wondering, I've never thought about how much time and effort and experience it takes to actually cut hair. Okay, we're looking at some video right now. Yeah. What, are the, what, are you, what story are you, are you trying to tell? So we're trying to tell the story of these people that don't get their stories told. Mm. These are entrepreneurs that work very hard at their crafts and their careers. And it's also, you know, for us, it's all about telling their stories the way nobody really pays attention. Like, you know, you have... Uh, Doug Katz, okay, he's this a... Is, we're looking at it right now? Yeah. Okay. This is from the trailer, and these are the uh, feature featurettes from the first six episodes that we did. This is the our, barbershop you were talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ryan Hardwick and Pat Corrigan. Mm -hmm. There's Isaiah Williams. Uh, all these guys, they get up every day. They go to work. Nobody really acknowledges it for it. Nobody acknowledges them for it. Yeah. But they do it anyway because they love it. Yeah. And more importantly, they're integral to the community that they live in, and for, for us, it's Cleveland. Now, how did you select those individuals? So we asked around, <laughs> okay. and these were the first people that we, you know, some of them we knew, like Joe Arco, I've been getting mm -hmm. frames from him for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Hat Barbershop, like I said, that's mm -hmm. where a couple of us from Clockwork 9 would go. Mm -hmm. And we just saw a real opportunity to find other people like that, that have skills that you know, nobody really thinks about. You shoot it, you put it together, anything, and you did the whole production. We did it. everything ourselves. This is our pilot season right now. Okay. We are uh, currently in talks for national distribution for Whoa. season two. Interesting. Yeah, which we're aiming to cover some uh, more Rust Belt cities. Because is, is, okay, is there a message, you know, as far as what Cleveland is all about? For Cleveland, it's you know, it's a really underappreciated city. You okay. have to really live here or know somebody who lives here to experience what. Is really true. I love Cleveland. your shots, by the way. You're, you're very, Thank very you. good production right there. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We have a very talented team at Clockwork Nine. You know, we normally do. Uh, we're a creative agency, so normally we're doing commercial work. Mm -hmm. And this, for us, was a big passion project for us. This is weekends to us. This is uh, people donating their time. On, mm -hmm. You know, these people in particular. So the land, I like it. Yeah. Artisans of the land. All right, yeah. now you said this is season two. This is season one, the season, pilot. Okay. We're currently gearing up for season two. Okay. Um, season two for us is going, we're seeking more diversity okay. in the community. In what way, would you say? So we want more women, okay. obviously. We have a couple slated already. We have Kate Rutner, who okay. is, again, she is a, uh, she does, uh, uh, she's a florist. Mm -hmm. But when you think of a florist, something, an image comes to mind. How can people see this? I mean, you know, it, it's beautiful, G good stuff, that good Thank work you. you guys do. How, you, how can you view it? So you can go to clockwork9.com right now, Okay. and that's where you can find it. Okay, and you said you're trying to get some national distribution? We are. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah, I don't want to get into the details right now. I got you. Mm -hmm. We've mm -hmm. meeting today about it, mm -hmm. and I don't want to talk I got you, no problem. <laughs> now, once again, what's that website again for folks, folks who want to check it out? So clockwork9.com mm -hmm. slash AOTL if you want to go directly to it, or just clockwork9.com. And that link is at fox8.com. Andrew, yeah. you're the man. Thank Appreciate you for having you, man. me. Keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Good, good stuff.